In today's lesson, we're going to learn the basic dimensions of the human face that's looking straight forward. Now, every face, no matter what it looks like, has the same basic dimensions. And we're going to learn, learn those today. Once you learn those, then you can draw any face. Now I'm using a really dark pencil so that it will show up on the camera, but you can use a lighter pencil when drawing the measuring line so that you can erase them later. The next step is you're going to draw a vertical line going down through the middle of that oval you just created. Now we're going to find the midpoint between this center line and the bottom of the oval. And I'm going to say it's about right there. And draw another horizontal line through it. Then again, find the center point between the line you just drew and the bottom of the oval. You see, it's about right there. Draw another line. Now I'm going to label these so that you know what the lines are for. The mid point here is actually the eyes. Now this surprises a lot of people who have never learned about the dimensions or drawn faces because usually people draw eyes up here. That's actually more where the hairline goes. Okay, this line is where the bottom of the nose will be. This line here is right towards the bottom of the mouth. Let's draw another line above the eye line. You just want to come up a little bit and draw another line right parallel about that. Now that line will be your eyebrow line. Okay, now let's let's draw a couple more lines. We're going to find the eye line right here and we're going to find the midpoint between the middle middle line and the edge of the face here. So let's say it's about right here. Now just draw a teeny little dot there to mark where it is. Do the same on the other side. Now this will be the very center pupil of the eye. Now one of the ways that you can um, assess your measurements is take your finger and your thumb and put them on the dots you just drew. Now when you twist your hand, that line should measure from eye to nose and then from nose to chin. See that? The face is amazing, so symmetrical. Okay, so our measurements are pretty good. Now let's, let's make these pupils or you know the center dot in the middle. Let's make them a little bigger. Like so. And again we're not going to get super detailed. We're just going to draw the basic shapes of the eye. Okay. Now, let's draw the eye. We're going to find the, about the midpoint between the very center of the pupil and the center line we drew. It's about right there. And do the same thing on this side. Center, center. And just draw an almond shape. Just around that pupil. Now, Here's some measurements of the eye. The eye, take your fingers and measure with your thumb and your finger the, the, sh the length of the eye. Now, uh, typically on people, there's one eye length between each eye. So it'll go eye, space, the same length of the eye, and then the eye. So now we know that that eye, that that one's going to start about right there. Just going to do that almond shape again, just like we did. We're not worried too much about, uh, again, about 
proportion or shading or anything like that. We just want to get the proportions down. Now you can make kind of a little half circle around those pupils just to give you an idea of where the, um, the iris is or the colored part of the eye. Now, we're going to actually take that iris, the outer edge right there, and we're going to draw another line from there straight down. Do it on the other side too, straight down. Now, this line drawn from the iris down will actually be the edge of the nostril. Okay, so let's actually go down to the nose now. This will be the middle of your nose. Now some people like to draw, lightly draw around in the middle for the center of the nose. And then you can come to these lines that you just drew down from the iris. You can make little circles, half circles that meet the nose. Then you can meet those in the middle. Okay. So you've got the nose and you've got the eyes. Now we're going to come down to the next line. This is the bottom of the mouth here. So we're going to go up a little ways and we're going to draw this the line in the middle of the mouth. So let's make the shape which kind of scoops in the middle and then comes down like that on each side. Again, we're not learning specifics about how to to draw certain things, but we're just getting basic. So the top lip will follow that same curvature and then it, it almost meets right there. Well, it meets. Now we'll do the bottom lip. The bottom lip is going to hit this line and we're just going to make it come and meet the corners of the mouth. There. See? Now right shortly below the bottom lip, there's going to be the top of your chin, you know, where the where that skin folds. Okay. Now let's do the eyebrows. We drew this line because this side of the eyebrow will meet this side, but it typically, you know, goes up. Everyone's eyebrows are shaped differently. We're just going to do a basic swoop just so that you can know where the eyebrow is, okay? And then you can add little hair details later, but it's just very basic. Now let's talk about the ears. The ears are usually typically about the same length from the top of the eye to the bottom of the nose. So you can you know, ears are again something that's typically different shapes on different people. Well, always different shapes on different people. You know, people talk about how fingerprints uh, can really differentiate you, um, but so many parts of your body uh, are individually yours. Now, you could be identified by any of these parts of your body. Okay, now let's talk about the hairline. The hairline, we're going to go about two-thirds of the way up here from, from where the eye line is to the top of the head. Right now he's looking kind of alienish, or she, I don't know what this one is yet. But then, you know, just draw a basic hairline just to get an idea of where that hair is going to fall. Then we'll add hair later. So, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the line of the neck. So, one of the easiest ways to do that is go to the center of the mouth and and draw an invisible line all the way down or you can draw a light one and then erase it just down to the chin and it'll kind of come out from there
Okay, so this is the basic dimensions of the face. Once you have the dimensions down, down, then you can go just start filling in details. Like, you know, most people's, nobody's face is actually just a perfect oval. You know, it, it typically come, comes in by the eyes and then goes out by the cheekbones. And some people have a more square jaw. It comes out like that. Some people have a rounder jaw. So from here, you can just start playing, playing with shapes till that face becomes how you want it to look. Guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to see the faces that you come up with. Just hop on my Facebook page and, and join us there. We'd love to see it. Um, subscribe. We've got lots of tutorials, lots coming, including the dimensions of faces that are looking other directions or tilted or whatnot, as well as sketching the whole human body and learning about the measurements and dimensions and and anatomy and whatnot all right guys bye